everyone, I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm Susie and welcome to our Holy Week journey. Sharon, today is Monday. I wonder what's going to happen in our story today? Ooh, I think in our story today there might be something to do with hmm, Jesus going into the temple. But before we get to our story, we're going to worship God together as we sing, Jesus, you have called us to come and follow you.
Sharon, you said that today's story was all about Jesus going to the temple. Are you going to read it for us so that we can hear it? Yes, I'm going to get my Bible out. And if you've got a Bible as well, you go and get your Bibles. And we're going to read Mark chapter 11, verses 15 to 19. Jesus clears the temple. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple and began driving out those who were buying and selling. He overturned the tables of the moneylenders and the benches of those selling doves. And he would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught the people, he said, is it not written my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it into a den of robbers. The chief priests and the teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him. For they feared him because the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. When evening came, they went out of the city. I find this such an interesting story, Sharon. Can you imagine all the commotion in the temple with the duck, the birds flying everywhere and the lambs running everywhere? Wow. There'd have been so much noise. It would have been like a cacophony of all this sound and people shouting and gosh, I don't I don't know whether I've ever been in such a place like that where it's been so like woo all in your face I don't know um marketplace maybe a marketplace you know it's like you said it was like a marketplace didn't it so it, it feels hard to believe when we've not been in crowds of people for so long what it must have been yeah. like to have a marketplace full of not just people but all the animals and the birds it must have been quite smelly as well yeah I think so <laughs> really. what are we doing with our holy week box today Right, so today we are going to open our boxes up again and inside our boxes we're going to get out our little Jesus figures or something to represent Jesus and one of our coins. And then we can close our box up and we can put our coin on the top of our box and our Jesus figure on our box and that will remind us of the story today about how Jesus turned over the tables of the money lenders. We could probably act it out actually. We could probably... oh, oh, poor Jesus! Jesus has fallen <laughs> off. Could... He's back. Blind. He's back. Got the money. We could put our box like it is a table, and we could have Jesus at the side here, and we could have him turning over the box and the money falling off. Ready? Woo. Oh. Hey, wow, that made a noise, but not as much noise as I think it would have made with all lots of things happening. So we can put our boxes there with our money on the side and our Jesus figure at the side or on top of the box. Oops. Oh dear, mine's falling over now. There we are. <laughs> Jesus got very cross, didn't he, about how they were using their money. Mm. Money's quite a hard thing to talk about, isn't it, sometimes? particularly when you get older as an adult. I think it's easier when you're a child. But I wonder, how do we use our money? Do we use it wisely? Mm. Hmm. It's a very hard thing to think through, isn't it, Sharon? It is, yes. Mm. I think sometimes yeah sometimes we we might want to buy things that we don't really need and then that's a waste isn't it really and we we're not thinking about things before we actually use or spend our money we're not thinking about what we're going to spend it on it's also about sometimes giving away our money to other people who might need it for various things. Mm. Like how much do we save in the bank? How much mm. do we spend? How much do we give away? Mm. 
lots of difficult questions to answer. Mm. Mm. Maybe we can talk about this as we have our dinner tonight. But shall we join together in the Lord's Prayer? Sharon, would you lead us today, please? Shall we pray? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our Holy Week journey today. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow and for the next part of the story.